Bitcoin Believers Business Manifesto From the Desk of BitMedia Zug, Cryptovalley, Switzerland Dear friend we have taken the unusual step to write this manifesto because we have a wholehearted belief in this message that we are about to share with you in the world. You see, we believe that we are at the start of a revolution that could be of more importance than the industrial revolution and it could well be the most important change that we as humans have ever made. What are we talking about? We are talking about technology that underpins Bitcoin and the Bitcoin blockchain which we view to be the most important innovation since the internet and as we said above perhaps our most important innovation ever. In the pages below we will set out why we are planting our feet firmly in the Bitcoin cryptocurrency world and why we believe you should do the same. So what is this Bitcoin? We are not going to bore you with long explanations as we believe that most people reading this have had some exposure or knowledge of Bitcoin. So let's use the Wikipedia definition for purpose of explanation. Bitcoin is a digital asset and a payment system invented by Satoshi Nakamoto, who published the invention in 2008 and released it as open source software in 2009. The system is peer-to-peer. Users can transact directly without an intermediary. Transactions are verified by network nodes and recorded in a public distributed ledger called the blockchain. The ledger uses Bitcoin as its unit of account. The system works without a central repository or single administrator, which has led the U.S. Treasury to categorize Bitcoin as a decentralized virtual currency. Bitcoin is often called the first cryptocurrency although prior systems existed. Bitcoin is more correctly described as the first decentralized digital currency. It is the largest of its kind in terms of total market value. We have listed the underlying principles of Bitcoin as this should help you, the reader to understand the potential of the technology. Anonymity all Bitcoin transactions are only between cryptographic pseudonyms without the need to have their true identity of the transacting parties revealed. Security All confirmed Bitcoin transactions are with mathematical certainty irreversible, all Bitcoins are with mathematical certainty non-counterfeitable. Decentralization Bitcoin has no central authority and is voluntarily run by consenting autonomous peers in a peer-to-peer -peer network. Finiteness. Unlike the infinite supply of fiat currencies the total supply of bitcoins to ever exist is forever arbitrarily limited and fixed. Tangibility. Issuing new bitcoins requires labor in the form of finding a specific number by solving a cryptographic math problem. Transparency. All bitcoin transactions are public and forever stored in the blockchain for anyone to see. Integrity All bitcoins are counted equally, are fungible, virtually can't be frozen or blocked from being spent. Practicality Bitcoin works anywhere, for anyone, non-stop, and the protocol allows for many practical layers on top, just like email. Rationalism The bitcoin software is written under the MIT open source license and is not a logically inconsistent intellectual property of anyone but merely organized information everyone can use as they wish. These are just a few principles that underpin Bitcoin and by now you should be getting ideas on the enormous application of this technology. As you can see this technology has the power to disrupt the whole financial industry and the banks are seeing the dangers. So what do the banks do in response? 8 Banking Giants Embracing Bitcoin and Blockchain Tech Source, Coindesk Here are 8 of the biggest institutions to go public with their interest so far. 1 BNP Paribas 2 Societe Generale, SOC Gen 3 Citibank 4 UBS 5 Barclays 6 Goldman Sachs 7 Banco Santander 8 Standard Chartered In 2016, we learned that Bitcoin is probably not going away anytime soon. 
As evidenced by the continued rise in transaction volumes and legitimization from mainstream leaders and institutions. Larry Summers, Blythe Masters, and UK Chancellor George Osborne have all given approving statements on Bitcoin or the blockchain. Not only are the statements positive, though, they're increasingly bullish. For example, Summers, the head of US Department of the Treasury under the Clinton administration, said he is behind the technology as he wanted to side with the history of change. Elsewhere, everyone from politicians to musicians was seeking to find new and novel ways to use and support the technology. U.S. presidential candidate Rand Paul began accepting Bitcoin donations, becoming the first presidential candidate to do so, and indie songstress Imogen Heap released a song on the blockchain. The list goes on. Patrick Byrne's blockchain-backed stock platform was recently approved by the SEC, Cameron and Tyler Winklevoss launched their long-awaited exchange Gemini. More Bitcoin investment vehicles have been started, the Coinbase service reached 3 million users, and Bitcoin startup funding surged to total almost $1 BN all time. More bullish factors. Blockchain more than anything else. 2015 was the year of the blockchain. The blockchain is the distributed public ledger on which all Bitcoin transactions are recorded. Blockchain became the buzzword in financial technology this year. With everyone from banking and financial institutions, like Goldman Sachs and the New York Stock Exchange, to payment processors, MasterCard, Visa, and American Express, publicly announcing interest in it often in the form of startup investments. And on December 30th, Nasdaq announced that it completed the first ever stock transaction a private investment into a Bitcoin startup to be documented using blockchain technology. Record Venture Capital Investment In 2014, Bitcoin-related startups raised around $315 million in private venture capital funding. That was more than three times the total of 2013. In 2015 Bitcoin companies raised $485 million. Bitcoin had a dramatic pull back in 2018 but against all predictions Bitcoin survived and are still doing extremely well. It also brings the total amount of venture capital pumped into Bitcoin startups since 2012 very close to $1 billion. The current market cap of all bitcoins, by the way, is close to $92 billion, April 2019. Where can you use your bitcoins? It turns out at a lot of places. Buying physical goods with bitcoin. Online e-commerce sites. Global computing giant Microsoft added Bitcoin as a payment option for a variety of digital content across its online platforms in December 2014. According to the company's payments information page, US-based customers can now use Bitcoin to add money to their accounts, which can then be used to purchase content like apps, games and videos from its Windows, Windows Phone, and Xbox platforms. Dell the multinational computer technology specialist, announced in July that it is accepting Bitcoin through a partnership with Coinbase. As an introductory offer, people buying with Bitcoin will get a price reduction of 10% on high-end Alienware PCs. With annual revenue approaching $57 BN, Dell is roughly four times the size of Dish Network the previous biggest Bitcoin accepting business. Overstock became the first major retailer to accept Bitcoin when it made the announcement back in January 2014. The firm offers everything from furniture to jewelry to electronics. Prices are in dollars but there is an option to pay in BTC on the checkout page. Initially a US only offering, the firm opened up Bitcoin purchases to over 100 countries in September. Newegg also a retail giant, is a Los Angeles-based company that recorded $2.8 BN in annual revenue in 2013. It specializes in computer hardware and software, 
but also sells a variety of appliances and goods. Showroomprive.com took the crown of largest European company to start accepting payment in Bitcoin in September 2014. The merchant, which sells a variety of products including clothes, fashion accessories, cosmetics, and homeware, is to accept Bitcoin via European cryptocurrency company Paymium. At the time of the announcement, its websites in France and the Netherlands were accepting Bitcoin, with other countries to follow over coming weeks. It has not yet announced a plan to integrate the digital currency with its mobile app platform. Tiger Direct, the online retailer of computers and consumer electronics now accepts payments in Bitcoin. This is handy, perhaps, for miners who can buy kit with coin they have mined. Monoprix is a major French retail chain that has announced plans to start accepting Bitcoin payments on its merchant website this year. The company further indicated that it is also working on a mobile payment solution for physical stores and Bitcoin could eventually be used there too. Bitcoinshop.us offers products from air conditioners to watches, all priced in Bitcoin, and, as of July 14, 2014, Litecoin and Dogecoin too, for those wanting to make a purchase. The catch, it only ships to people in the continental US. Memory Dealers carries a range of networking hardware equipment and computer memory. It has been a Bitcoin believer from the beginning. Air Baltic, the Latvian airline, may be the first to accept payments in Bitcoin, after starting accepting the cryptocurrency on July 17. A company representative said that the Bitcoin payment option is offered for basic class fares, excluding China, Indonesia, India, Iceland, Jordan, Japan, Lebanon, Malaysia, Russia, Taiwan and Vietnam. After initially and controversially charging a fee of 5.99 euros per Bitcoin transaction, Air Baltic changed its mind and now has no fee. Air Lituanica, another Eastern European airline, is now accepting Bitcoin for flight tickets as part of its ongoing bid to embrace new and innovative methods of serving customers. Cheapair.com, the California-based online travel booking website, started taking Bitcoin in November 2013 and announced in July that it has completed more than $1.5 million in Bitcoin sales on flights. Around 200,000 hotels and Amtrak railway bookings via its platform. BTC Trip is an online flight and hotel booking service that was one of the first in its industry to serve the Bitcoin community. As of August 2014, the firm also accepts payments in Dogecoin and Litecoin. The UK's Theatre Tickets Direct has recently started accepting Bitcoin, offering a ticket booking service for mostly London shows, such as West End Theatre and musicals. Honest Brew is a UK-based online beer platform that specialises in craft beers from its own and guest breweries including quirky labels like Weird Beard, Brew Dog, and Pressure Drop. Coco Mats and more offers Bitcoin logo doormats for fans of the cryptocurrency, as well as Bitcoin accepted here mats for merchants wanting to advertise the payment option. Coindesk frequently discovers interesting local sellers. Keystone Pet Place will handle all your pet's needs, the Java Nomad will ship you fresh coffee beans from Bali and Persian Shoes will sell you handmade shoes and bags from Iran. Several local Niche merchants accept Bitcoin only and will not cannot accept fiat currency. The good news is that there are hundreds of small retailers accepting Bitcoin too. One of our favorites at Coindesk, we'd love one in our office, are these beautiful, handmade water filter crocs. Coinmap and ucbitcoins.info keep up to date databases of these shopping destinations. Using Bitcoin to obtain discounts. Purse.io is a peer-to-peer -peer marketplace that matches individuals wanting to buy items on Amazon at a discount with others wanting to buy Bitcoin with a credit card or via PayPal. The service claims potential discounts of up to 20% for Bitcoin shoppers.
Read review of the service here. Bitcoin gift cards If you can't find physical or online stores that accept Bitcoin directly for the item, S, you require. The easiest way to turn your digital currency into real-world goods and services is via gift cards. Plenty of gift card businesses accept Bitcoins and these cards can be used at a surprising number of major retailers like Walmart, Amazon, Target, and Nike. For U.S. customers, companies like GYFT, eGifter, Itradetk, and GiftCardZen have the widest range of options. In the UK, Gift Off lets customers use 15 cryptocurrencies to buy gift cards for 177 retailers, such as Amazon, Marks and Spencer, Ryanair, and American Apparel. The service is currently rolling out to the EU too, with France and Germany being first to receive a more limited number of gift card options. More countries and retailers are planned to follow soon. Note. Many gift cards are only valid in their country of issue, which is usually the United States, although overseas shoppers may still make purchases with gift cards from U.S. retailers in many cases, dot other countries have their own options. For example, Australians can see what's available at Bitcoin gift cards. You will usually pay a little more to trade your Bitcoins for gift cards, around 5 to 10 percent is normal. But on the upside, you don't need to deal with exchanges or transfers. Physical Stores That Accept Bitcoin Reed's Jewelers, a large jewelry chain in the U.S., is one of the most notable merchants to accept Bitcoin as a form of payment. The firm is headquartered in Wilmington, North Carolina, and has 64 retail locations in the eastern U.S., as well as an online presence. The retailer, which has been in business since 1946, is allowing its customers to pay using Bitcoin both in-store and online. CEX, a UK technology exchange and retailer, launched a one-store Bitcoin-only payments initiative in Glasgow this May, as well as Scotland's first Bitcoin ATM. It has now rolled out ongoing Bitcoin acceptance to 30 stores across Britain, with more to follow soon. The Sacramento Kings NBA franchise accepts Bitcoin for products including tickets, jerseys, hot dogs, and beer. The team says it will accept the currency online and at the Sleep Train Arena, its home stadium. The San Jose Earthquakes, a soccer club from California, implemented Bitcoin integration at the team's Buckshaw Stadium on May 25th. Coinbase is acting as the stadium's Bitcoin payments processor leveraging the exchange's tablet app to accept payments. Game attendees can use Bitcoin to buy tickets at the box office and additionally pay for concessions at certain locations and buy merchandise at the stadium gift shop. Perhaps stretching the definition of a store, a private hospital in Warsaw, Poland, which is run by the MediCover Group, will soon let patients pay their bills in Bitcoin. The medical facility is probably the first to accept payments for the full range of healthcare services, including major surgery. Check out coinmap.org for a large number of smaller bricks and mortar Bitcoin stores across the globe. Although this list is extensive, it also shows that Bitcoin has not even started to scratch the service and if this adoption continues, then the Bitcoin price is set to soar. So where can the Bitcoin price go? BTCC, formerly BTC China, CEO Bobby Lee. The way I see it is Bitcoin is not going anywhere away the way Internet is not going away. So, if any of you think the Internet might go away, then Bitcoin might go away. As long as the Internet is with us. Bitcoin will be with us because it's really the world's first and most successful form of electronic money and value that's not controlled by any government or system. Bitcoin is already moderately successful, I would say. The reason it is moderately successful is that people actually value this, so the genie is out of the bottle. Recently, the street took Bitcoin blogger Dete Vettere word in a recent interview that not only will Bitcoin reach $1 million USD in value, 
but it will replace gold as the economic safe haven of choice. Here are even more compelling reasons to be bullish. Bitcoin daily transactions are setting records the December 2015 holiday season, passing 100k per day, so demand and usage are at all-time highs. See graph of confirmed transactions from July 2016 to June 2017. Bitcoin underwent the scheduled halving on July 9, 2016, dropping production to 12.5 BTC every 10 minutes, which certainly won't hurt Bitcoin's price in the long run. A factor no one talks about is the long-term value of the global reserve currency, the USD. Real-world inflation not the contrived and manipulated CPI is more like 5% per annum, not 2% or less. Many experts are also forecasting the end of the US dollar's run as the global reserve currency by the end this decade. Superpowers like Russia and China are working night and day to upset the global economic dollar-based shopping cart. The AIIB, Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, and the BRICS, Brazil slash Russia slash India slash China slash South Africa, have created a We Hate the Dollar Investment Bank, and new Silk Road construction from China. Through Russia, into Eastern Europe are all signs of a geopolitical economic shift for the ages. The US is $18 trillion in debt, where non-dollar denominated bilateral trade agreements are the norm and countries worldwide are using the Chinese yuan for global exchange. The US dollar is on the clock. It's not a matter of if, but when there is a changing of the guard. The dollar has lost over 97% of its value over the last century, and why wouldn't that model of consistent economic debasement continue? Source, Newstk We think we have made it clear that we are, to say the least, slightly bullish on the Bitcoin price but we believe there is an even bigger play here. Enter the world of Internet Online Marketing the advent of Bitcoin has created an exponential amount of new opportunities for online marketers and online business. In assessing the factors mentioned above and potential opportunities that will open up in the future we formed a vision of building the largest Bitcoin cryptocurrency online community and attached to it, a business opportunity that would bring wealth to an enormous amount of people. Our mission is as follows. Here is our invitation to you. We are throwing our hats into the Bitcoin ring in a big way. We are changing and reorganizing our online business around the Bitcoin niche and we are also transferring as many of our assets as we can into Bitcoin. We thus invite you to take hands and join our community and together we can build something spectacular in this new economic order that will soon engulf all of us. Subscribe hit the bell notification and download the manifesto link in the description. Join our community.